AMC Entertainment shows short-term weakness but bullish long-term trend. The movie theater chain stock lost support at the 8-day exponential moving average EMA, but AMC has been trading in an uptrend since May 31st. An uptrend occurs when a stock consistently makes a series of higher highs and higher lows on the chart. What's good, Lottery Sox fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we have a lot of stuff to go over with AMC and GameStop, so make sure to stay till the end of the video. We did have the GameStop annual shareholder meeting. We're going to talk a little bit about that later on, what's going to happen with AMC and GameStop going forward and the newest updates that I got for you. So without further ado, since I research, edit, upload, record, not in that order for you guys, please hit the like button. It's free. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and drop a comment down below. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So the media always likes to be right. And according to this article posted over on Weeble, AMC has been in an uptrend since May 31st. And this downside that you're seeing right now is just temporary. In fact, it's looking bullish on the long term. AMC down 3.47% on the day, trading at $4.73 sense and we talked about it scaling down to four dollars before getting a major rip however we have just entered the point of interest that we have been tracking which would be on june 15th and further out between june 15th and july 18th you have this one month period where amc has a very very good chance of, of ripping and if you haven't been keeping up with the channel we track several cycles with amc and we have a very very important point of interest right now where amc is trading at now according to this analyst amc since here may May 31st has been trading in an uptrend, which is correct, making higher highs and higher lows. And if that is the case, and if this article wants to stay correct, AMC will have a bounce right here. If I were to take a trend line from this bottom wick and tag it on all of the bottom wicks, AMC would get a bounce right at $4.70. If this article, if the media wants to portray themselves as smart as correct, then AMC will get a bounce here. However, we can still continue to sell off. You know what we've been tracking with Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic leads the pack for AMC and it got a flush and we talked about how AMC could get a flush following that and now you're finally seeing it happen. Ethereum Classic flushed to the downside and now AMC is getting the same exact flush. Now, I tracked something with Ethereum Classic from the very, very first ever cycle that it created, which AMC created the same cycle at the same exact time. It was uh, early 2020, late 2019, leading them into the floor when COVID hit and then retail bought it up and then you had that rip. Okay, so this is the first cycle that was drawn out and it lined up perfectly with where the flush happened with Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic has two cycles that can play out. This one up here at the top being the first cycle where it's scaled down and then it would rip right around June 20th. And AMC is sitting on that point of interest, but this does not have to happen as this cycle got the flush at the same exact time, Ethereum Classic, got the flush right here to the downside. And if that is the case, this thing wouldn't have its major rip all the way until October, which would be the worst case scenario. Now we have talked about previously AMC having another point of interest in October. However, we could see the run in this point of interest between June and July because we have one of the most important catalysts for AMC, which is the lawsuit. We're going to talk about that in one second. Antera just sold 3.984 million shares of Ape, 1.884 million at $1.60, 1.1 million at $1.60, and then finally the last million at $1.59. This tweet says they also bought a lot of puts. Antera Capital has suddenly turned bearish. This is utter betrayal to AMC and Ape shareholders. Disgrace disgraceful behavior. Well, following this disgraceful behavior, Antara Capital is now being sued over short swinging ape and taking profits. This lawsuit was filed by two AMC investors, which accuses the hedge funds, its affiliates, and founder of making more than 20 million on sales of ape units and AMC common stock purchased less than six months earlier. Federal securities laws require corporate leaders and major stockholders to give such short swing profits back to the company, a rule meant to curb insider trading. Antara didn't immediately respond to a request for comment Wednesday. The complaint in Manhattan Federal Court opens a new legal front in the better fight over the eight units which have been the subject of fierce litigation in Delaware's Chancery Court since February. The case has pitted AMC and its leaders against many of the amateur investors who participated in the meme stock rally that rescued the theater chain from the pandemic era bankruptcy. So keep in mind there's a federal securities law where this short swing profit is supposed to be curved back to the company. If that is the case, this could all have just been a tactic for Antera to give money back 
to AMC back to Abe, or that may turn out this way, depending on how this lawsuit ends up going. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I want to talk about the option chain real quick. It's looking horrible for AMC. Chances are it's going to get dropped even further than 3% by the time it closes today. Uh, you have 356,000 puts expiring in the money and 500,000 out of the money. So there is a ramp to the downside as well as short exempts on AMC. We recently had 174, 131, then 355,000, then 211. They are crushing this thing into the floor as much as possible that short interest is rising back up to 25 percent we talked about when it gets up there 25 26 percent they're going to reset it again let it jump it's going to drop and the cycle goes on and on again now gamestop had its shareholder meeting before we get into that if you guys want to know my trades as soon as i take them a lot of people are wondering where my trades are i haven't traded in the past two weeks or so besides my amc and gamestop contracts i've just been trying to do a bunch of stuff with sponsorships get that together as well as post content for you guys so it's just been a busy past couple of weeks overall we have a ton of people in there who talk stocks all day long so surround yourself with people who like to do the same stuff as you which is essentially make money in the stock market that link will be right under the video you guys will not regret it we also have options trading alerts in there and and more plus guys do this before june is over do it now stop sleeping on it download mumu using my link in the top of the description or in the top of comments sign up and make a deposit like you would weeble or Robinhood or any other platform and you're getting up to 17 free stocks plus a 100 cash coupon that you can withdraw plus a potential free tesla stock and if you deposit more than 100 you're getting a guaranteed c3 ai stock which is a hot sector right now guys take advantage of this and if you have use your mom or brother's or dad's phone to do it again plus it's a great platform to use in general let's get back to the video those links will be right under the video as well as in the comments now gamestop had its annual shareholder meeting today and this is what ryan cohen stated here's the breakdown here's the conclusion he goes my father always told me talk is cheap actions speak louder than words my responsibility is making sure gamestop is run by managers who treat company money like their own in corporate america the people in charge the professionals the directors and management teams are not aligned with shareholders they are always the recipient of stock grants however they rarely purchase company shares with their own savings there's a big difference between risk-free compensation for showing up and putting a meaningful amount of your own money at risk as a result money is wasted work is delegated and a lot of time is spent managing the short-term expectations and pandering to Wall Street. I like people who roll up their sleeves and do real work, people guided by principles, not robots, who seek to rest and invest. In corporate America, there is no shortage of overpaid executives, bad capital allocation, and chronic waste and serial delegator. Ryan Cohen basically comes out and speaks strongly that he purchased shares of the company because he is going to put his own money at risk and work harder and take actions to growing the company and he's showing shareholders that he is ready to do that. He's throwing shade at other CEOs, I'm not going to say any names, that you won't even buy your own damn stock and you're going to say that you're trying to run the company and grow the company. Actions speak louder than words. You can say whatever you want, but I'm purchasing my own company. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I like it. I like what he said. Overall, the meeting was kind of um, over-anticipated, anticlimactic, if you will. Not much came out of it, but I do like what he said. GameStop is trading at $25.33, down 1.48% on the day. Now, if this Elliott Wave theory we talked about before is correct, it also lines up with this red cycle that GameStop has. But keep in mind, volume has been decent on GameStop. AMC is getting to a point of interest. Mullen is getting to a point of interest. And if this is the case... You're going to see something like this where it scales back up to this trend line and this would take, you know, this would take even longer for this to happen and this would go up into the quad witching date which is June 16th. Uh this is one scenario or they could all just rip over the next week or two. That is the next scenario as well. Just keep all of these on your radar. Crypto has a lot to do with it. The market has a lot to do with it. We're going to talk about that in one second. The call to put ratio on GameStop is looking beautiful. 47,000 in the money calls compared to 7,000 puts in the money. So the option chain is slaughtering, but the short exempts continue to remain higher on GameStop. We saw 125 and 108 over the past two days. And before that, we saw an increase in even more, almost 250,000 short exempts back to back within a two day period. Now, short sellers are not doing too hot. You can tell by looking at the S&P 500, looking at the overall market, they thought we were going to enter a bear market. The SPY was going to get slapped, but that is not the case. The SPY is almost trading at $441, up 0.84% on the day, and it is looking absolutely insane. 
basically what happened with the FOMC meeting is that the Fed paused rates. Jerome Powell didn't seem too happy. And what really happened here is that they paused rates for now, but they expect them to go even higher than they recently anticipated. So it's temporarily strong, but bears still think, yo, this thing's going to fall even further. It wasn't necessarily good news. But remember, when the SPY scaled up to 403, short sellers lost over $80 billion, and now it's at $440. Now, just a reminder, the legal way to bribe politicians in America is by donation. Ken Griffin sent $2 million October 28th of 2020 to the Senate Leadership Fund. And following that, to the same fund, sent $5 million, $5 million, $10 million, and finally $15 million. And you wonder why Gary Gensler is getting fired after putting proposals out that Citadel disagreed with. Tim foil hat theory you guys let me know in the comments down below overall guys that's what i got for you for today's video hopefully you found value out of the video or enjoy watching you guys let me know your sentiment in the comments down below make sure to hit the like button share the video and use those links down below pop in the discord download moomoo sign up and make a deposit overall i love you lottery stocks out